week, the Nobel Prize in Chemistry was given to three scientists for developing cryo-EM. Here today we have David Agard, an expert in cryo-EM and also a QBI investigator as well as a professor at UCSF. Thank you for joining me yes, today. Yes, my pleasure. So tell me, what is cryo-EM and how does it impact the world? Right. So uh, cryo-EM is short for cryo-electron microscopy and it's a new technique that allows us to study the three-dimensional structure of the important molecules inside of cells and from that we can figure out how they work. And that this is technology that while in principle people thought it might be possible many years ago, only recently through a handful of, of combined advances has gotten to the point where we can really do this on a regular level. And, and you know, this has excited the entire field and that excitement has been, an impact has been recognized in this Nobel Prize uh, this year. Great, and tell me, how does this lead to treatment or cures? Yeah, so by figuring out the structure of the important machinery inside of cells, we can much more efficiently design drugs that can uh, target those particular molecules. Uh, and so the machinery actually has very defined three-dimensional shapes, and this is proteins, uh, for example, that can do everything from uh, help you uh, sense heat or cold, uh, see, you know, see light through your eyes, uh, power your muscles, all of that sort of functionality is done by protein machines. And the ability to manipulate that with things that you take can help cure a particular disease in one particular area. Okay, cool. And tell us a little bit about your work. How do you use this in your lab? Yes. So cryonym has become very important to our work uh, and that we've been studying the machinery inside of cells that actually helps the other machineries uh, function. And so this, they're called chaperones because they help the other machines get into their proper state, but then don't bother them too much once they're there. And so uh, this wouldn't have been possible uh, by any other method to understand their structure and function uh, without using cryo -EM. Okay, great. And can we check one out? Sure, absolutely. All right. And we're very excited here at UCSF that there's been a whole new center being developed for this uh, technology, um, and we'll see that. Okay, great. Stay tuned. We have two EM suites here at UCSF. Uh, one uh, that we've used for many years, it has five microscopes in it, and this is the new one that's just come online in the first last couple months that has two of our you know, biggest and most powerful microscopes. Come on in. Here microscopes. They're called um, uh, Creos machines, uh, Creo for cold. Uh, and that within this, these huge boxes that are about 14 feet tall uh, is where the sample gets loaded. And uh, you know, the microscope then takes pictures of that. Uh, and those pictures are then all processed by computers in order to generate the three-dimensional uh, structures of the molecules.